Alright guys, it's update time. Been a while since I've been on here, but man, I've been busy as heck. I have been working to 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and going to bed and have to be at work the next day. Man, it's just been hectic. But today, I got a day off, so I'm going to make a video. I know y'all been waiting on it. This is the... Let's see here, where are we at on this? That right there is how much power is putting into the batteries from the uh, solar panels. It's putting in 10 amps right now. I've been cloudy all day today. No sun. We got batteries are sitting at 52.9. We got 0% coming out of the batteries because we got a little power coming in from the solar panels. Alright, we are sitting at 418 on leg 2. We're sitting at 96 on leg 1. We are okay. PV input 95 volts, 500 and uh, just switch back on me. 529 on array two and 529 on array one. That is your hertz. Hertz, AC, yeah, I had an AC on just in case we don't, we don't um, have enough solar power or the batteries get low, but that little symbol right there is the meaning that you have power on, but to the unit, other than that, yeah, let's keep moving. Alright, it's starting to repeat back over again. Yeah, batteries is 52.9, getting ready to hit 53. Zero coming out of it. Uh, everything is going in. But that's how everything is going right now, man. Here's the little project I've been working on. Let me get this thing to focus in. I was trying to get this thing in. This is a second pellet burner that we have. And, uh, I converted this thing over. I cut a hole in the top right here. Put this duck on there. And I ducked it up. And it goes all the way across. All the way over to there. Now that duck right there. That's the cold air return. I'm coming out of the cold air return. Circling around and coming all the way back down, all the way to right there. So you're not pulling any any air out of this garage here. Everything is coming from the living area. And then this duck here is going up, going all the way across. Let's go over here. you be able to see right there and that's blowing in upstairs I'll take you up there and see what it's looking like hold on just a second okay guys this is the temperature 82 degrees in the uh, in the hallway here this here let me zoom out This right here is the vent where it blows in to the hallway here. And then you have, uh, it just gravity feeds into the rest of the house. This is the hallway, the end of the hallway. And this here is the other end of the hallway. Now let's go in. This here is where I have the the thermostat set on 75 right here and it's 
74 right now. Heat is on. And it's, uh, as soon as this reaches its temperature, it'll stop the pellet burner from dropping pellets in there, which will make it kind of even out to keep it at like 70 degrees. But let's go in to the other room. This is my wife's office here, and we are looking at 74 degrees here. Okay, let's see. This is the third bedroom, and it is 73.2 degrees in here then it's uh, 28 degrees outside yeah so that's what it's looking like okay let's go down and see what the temperature is in the garage All right, guys, I'm in the garage. Here's the temperature inside of the garage here. And let it, it'll come back. 70 degrees in here. This is another project I've been working on. All of this sheetrock over here. Been putting this sheetrock up, hanging it, trying to finish up in this garage. It's a mess in here. So I've been moving stuff from side to side all over the place. And it's time for me to get this thing cleaned up, get everything in order. Yeah, but this is this thing is working really good. And I noticed I was letting the radiant heat from this just heat the garage up down here. And when it really, really got low, the temperature dropped down into the teens. I noticed that it didn't stay as warm down here as it did upstairs. So I put this little fan right here so it can blow the heat off of the back of here and blow it into the garage. And it seemed to be working pretty good. Right here, right here is where the heat used to blow out. But I, uh... I sealed this up right here. And when I sealed this up, I cut this hole in the top and now the heat blows up and comes up, and goes right upstairs. So I'm actually heating up like 2,400 square feet because it's 1,200 square feet upstairs and 1,200 in this garage. So I'm heating up 1,200 square feet with this one pellet unit. And the reason why I wanted to use these are because of the um, my furnace. That thing uses like 800 watts just to, for the blower to come on. These right here uses like between 100. Uh, Sometimes you see it around 90. It might go up to 120. So I can run this thing for 24 hours. And not use as much power as running that my furnace for eight hours. So it's a big savings on my battery. And this here is where my these lines right here, that's for my wind turbines. I gotta get them hooked back up. They coming in right here. As soon as I um uh, insulate in there and um Put this piece of sheetrock up. I'm gonna put my my brakes on the wall and start wiring them in. And I'm gonna order my my little um, thing to keep from ch overcharging my batteries. But let's go out and see what it's looking like outside. All right, we outside here, and I cleaned the snow off of them this morning. Get them to charge. It. Look like the sun is trying to pop out. Little sun is peeking out, not much. Let's go over and check the meter. And I'm gonna be doing an update on uh, my power usage. 
But here, no movement out of the meter at all. We haven't been on the grid in, oh uh, man, probably about a week now. But I tried to put that, that right there is the exhaust for that pellet burner. And I tried to put it out here up under this panels here to kind of melt the snow off. Didn't work. <laughs> Maybe if I close it, close the ends up or something, it'll hold the heat in. But other than that, guys, that's all I have right now. And uh, I'm signing out. All right, see you.